Caitlin Clark lost in the national title game against South Carolina, but Iowa did enough. They're going to retire her 22 jersey. Um, she's definitely it's Big Ten. She, she, she broke so many records. Uh, leader in assists, all-time scoring leader, men's and women's, all-time assist leader. Broke all types of records. So, so Reed, is Caitlin Clark the greatest women's college player of all time? I mean, it's it's so hard to say with with all this. Basketball seems to be the only sport for the most part where rings really matter that in football because there's a lot of other things where big big tournaments don't matter. If you look at golf, Tiger Woods, the greatest golfer of all time, he doesn't have the most major wins. Um, you look at World Series wins, people don't really count. Barry Bonds is the greatest player of all time without – well, people say Babe Ruth, but I don't count Babe Ruth. But Barry Bonds, is, for the most part, is the greatest baseball player of all time. He has no World Series wins, so – um, it's, I mean, I would say yes, cause she broke every record. She did it without all Americans on her team. She went to two national championships back to back with no all Americans on her team. Like LSU had with the transfer and Haley Van Linth, um, Angel Reese transferred, uh, South Carolina's team was absolutely loaded. Um, uh, I, the other teams are escaping me. Um, Louisville is always pretty good. Stanford's, you know, obviously solid. But, I mean, Caitlin Clark probably did it with, with the least. It was like LeBron with that Cavs team when he took that Cavs team to the playoffs with uh, Zadrunas Ogowskis. So I personally would put her in that conversation. Um, she doesn't have the rings, which which obviously a lot of people over the weekend were saying uh, her, obviously, because, you know, Tarazi and all those, uh, and Sue Bird and all of them have, have a lot of rings. But, I mean, Caitlin Clark did everything that you needed her to do and took her team to two national championships again with basically nobody. So I would say yes, but um, I think a lot of other people disagree. And also look what she did for the sport of college basketball. She, she basically in her own brought the 18 million people for the most part. And I mean, there were, I, I won't give all the credit to her. Some of those other girls, obviously the LSU rivalry played its part in it. And then South Carolina being as good as they are and, and ongoing undefeated. I think that definitely helped, but I think the major backing behind it was Caitlin Clark. So I would put her in that conversation just for that. She definitely has, has put uh, women's basketball onto a whole other level that, that we haven't seen before. Oh, yeah, definitely. Her, her greatness can't be questioned um, as far as being the GOAT. Um, I put her I put her up there high, but I, I can't put her into that echelon because she didn't win a national championship or moto championship. Yeah, like, yeah, Iowa was the least talented, but I will give her credit for being able to get there, but she had two cracks at the cracks at it and, and couldn't get it done. Although she did go against some 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 good talent with the LSU team, the South Carolina team was unstoppable. Um, I don't even know how that South Carolina team lost last year to um, in the Final Four last year. They've lost once in two years, which is crazy. But being the fact that she was able to get the scoring record and just <clears throat> taking women's college basketball by storm was great. She put a bigger eye on it and helped. Um, open it up to some of the bigger women, like you talked about, Cameron Brink from um, Stanford. Um, there's a girl from Notre Dame. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. It's Hannah something. She's good. Paige will be back another year. Um, Juju Watkins is going to be a star. Um, it's just helping. It's just helping showing that the women are are skilled and can have the ability to 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 be exciting. And the, the best thing about women's basketball is the fundamentals are on point. There's there's not a lot of sloppy play. There's good execution. There's good ball movement. There's there's good a lot of things. It's just we just don't play above the rim. That's the thing. But I think she opened opened up a another thing for women. So I believe it will get continue to get better and better and better. Um, so I do 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 think Juju Watkins of USC has a chance to break her all time scoring record if she does stay in college for for four years. But she had the kind of Steph Curry um effect where she was where she was shooting, how she was playing, the swag was just everything that that women's college basketball needed to give them a shot in the arm for sure. The next thing we need for it to happen is to translate to the WNBA, which hopefully that can happen sooner rather than later. I mean, I sent you guys that thing too, which I think is already crazy, and that just plays into the Caitlin Clark effect. The first home opener for the Aces when they play Indiana, the Indiana Fever, which Caitlin Clark is most likely going to be drafted to as the first overall pick, already moved to T-Mobile Arena to add extra seats just to bring in the capacity of people that – you know, are going to the game. I think I saw something where it said tickets last year for uh, uh, Indiana Fever game were like 15 bucks or something like that. And now they're going for like upwards of 200. So it's like, I mean, she has. Um, I mean, yeah, I personally think that 
everything she did kind of makes it a goat. If you want to bring rings into it, then you can. But you know, it's just I, I don't know. I, I personally think just the way she elevated the sport makes her the goat. He also um, they did just announce that the Fever will be getting thirty six national uh, national televised games. So that's another thing they're trying to promote this thing and you know bring bring some uh, eyes to WNBA, which I think will be there because the WNBA draft is uh, Monday, April fifteenth, so it's coming up real fast. Another thing, last thing I'll say on this, and, and um, I don't remember who it was. It was one of the older players, and she was on Diana Taurasi. No, not Taurasi. It was one. It was someone on someone's podcast. I can't remember who it was, um, but she was talking about um, how Caitlin Clark. You know, it, she looks good doing it against eighteen-year-old girls. Wait until she gets to the WNBA. You know. Again, she did it without any, you know, all stars on her on her college basketball team, and now she's getting that that Boston girl who I think was Indiana's pick last year, who was a high pick. Um, Indiana's going to have a pretty good team, so I, I'm interested to see how well she's going to do um, when she does get drafted there, because I think she's going to have more talent, obviously, there than she had in, in Indiana. I think that's only going to just help her; it's going to elevate her because. I think the WNBA is going to, it was, I think she's just going to bring a new level to it and, and she's going to have more talent than she did on that Iowa team. 